Lincoln Park front Manchester Bennington sent a text message asking to meet up with his radio host friend just three days before his suicide. The 41-year-old tried contacted American radio veteran Matt Pinfield, days before his body was found at his home, south of Los Angeles, on Thursday morning. Chester was found dead at a private residence in Palos Verdes Estates in Los Angeles, at about 9 a.m. on Thursday, which was later confirmed as his family home. The two hours with Matt Pinfield host said he was devastated after hearing the news of his friend's tragic death and is still trying to process what happened. Lincoln Park's Chester Bennington said he wanted to lay in a corner and die in a haunting interview. I was devastated, said Pinfield, speaking to Variety. When I went into treatment in January, he was one of the first people to call me. Chester was a lovely, positive guy. He cared about people, and all the success never went to his head. He was great to his fans. It is an incredible loss. Pinfield became friends with Bennington through his work on MTV, New York's WXRK, and Sirius XM. He admitted that Bennington was still messaging and video calling friends shortly before his death and few say any clues that something was wrong. Pinfield said. He was fast timing with friends and seemed to be doing great. It was a shock to every single one of us. The radio host went into a facility in California in January, and praised Bennington for his support, but does not know what drove him to suicide. The recovering addict added, People who deal with depression like that, these decisions are made on the fly. The singer had been quite candid and open about his struggles with both mental health and addiction having talked freely about both topics. Just months before his death, in an interview obtained exclusively by Mirror Online, the singer revealed the band's latest album, One More Light, had helped him turn a corner from the darkest time in his life. One More Light is for us a very personal and very therapeutic kind of record, he said. We got into a lot of aspects of our lives that we probably wouldn't have normally shared with anyone and just dealt with it on our own. He continued, for me personally when we first started working on this record I was coming out of the darkest time of my life and it was all ST that I was doing to myself. It was all stuff that I had control over but even though I felt differently at the time, 